Hello friends, today we are going to see few numeric and alphabet patterns. So let's start friends and one more thing, this session is completely a practical session. So here is Turbo C application, create a file, include standard library functions. Here is the main function, here variable declaration, clear screen statement, first of all we shall just simply say this program, ok, now the first pattern that we are considering is displayed on your screen right now. See friends, it is a very simple pattern and what you observe in this pattern is that the value in any column is constant. That means in the first column we are printing only 1, in the second column we are printing 2, in the third column we are printing 3, in the fourth column we are printing 4. That means simple, as we are changing the column number we are printing that particular column number in that particular position. So, how can we achieve this pattern? So, simply we can write i is equal to 1, i is less than equal to and one more thing friends, here what we can do, instead of writing a value here for limit of rows, we can simply make a new variable declaration over here as max and we can have a default value for this particular variable max suppose it is 5 for now right and here instead of writing a value integer value directly we can simply write that variable over here so here we are going to put that particular variable max and if we want to change the number of rows then we can simply make change over here Instead of 5, we can write 10, we can write 20, we can write 4, right friends? And simply, we can change the whole pattern. We don't need to change any code for this, right? And simply here, next, I++, next, J, J is equal to 1, J is less than equal to I. Because we need to print only characters equal to the number of that particular row right and here j plus plus right friends now simply put a printf statement over here and if we observe here now just see friends as we already know that j value is constant in any column so simply can we print a value of j over here right just put a new line character over here get ch statement over here simply save this program compile and run that's all this is our first program right friends the next pattern is displayed on your screen right now Now, just see, the next pattern is on your screen right now and what, what is the observation over here? Now here, the value in the rows is fixed value, right? And which variable has the fixed value in rows? That is nothing but i. So instead of j, if we print i over here, just save it and just compile we have our next output friends so it is very simple to achieve this output now just look at the next output this is the next pattern what you observe the value in the first row and in the first column is 2 the value in the second row and the first column is 3 the value in the second row second column is 4 
So friends, simply instead of just thinking about J's value and I's value, can we have the addition of both variables? Just see, if we print I plus J over here, see in the first row and first column I is 1, J is 1, 1 plus 1, we can have 2. In the second row and first column, I is 2, J is 1, 2 plus 1, 3. We can have the next row. Right friends? So simply put I plus J over here, compile and just run. See friends, this is the next output. To make it somewhat clear, we can put a space over here. And now see this is the next output right now see the next output is on your screen right now and it is alphabet pattern see friends as we all know that in C every character has a value equivalent to the integer and if we consider character A the equivalent integer character uh, the equivalent integer value for the character A, capital A, is 65 and it is called as its ASCII value. And if we print any integer by using percent %C format specifier, then instead of printing that particular integer in the number format, we can have the character equivalent of that number. So here, simply, if we write here C, and if we manage to print here 65 then we can have character a over here see what is the value of i it is 1 and it is incremented in every iteration so if we manage to print here 65 66 67 68 and if we want to print here 65 value in the initial position then we can simply add the difference here and difference is 64 right so if we want to print 65 and we have a value 1 we can print 64 plus 1 65 64 plus 2 66 right friends so here I have put the 64 plus I and it will print equivalent character value over here simply save it compile it and run it see friends this is our next output right friends now we can simply change a variable over here instead of i we can write a j and we can have our next output see what is our next output on your screen right now make a change instead of i just put j over here and run right friends so this is the next output okay now friends we are going to see how to print a star pattern in a pyramid shape right so it is a simple technique we can simply modify this code like this here instead of uh, this I will just print star over here so this is a standard star pattern and now here as you can see friends in the pyramid pattern we shall have a space before the stars in the first row second row third row and these spaces are decreasing as we are increasing the number of rows so in this situation we already know that if this is the situation then we can replace that particular space by using a different pattern we can have that particular uh, pattern over there which will manage to shift the star on the next positions and after we achieve the output we can simply replace that symbol with space so here what we shall do we shall simply put a new for loop over here j is equal to and we need 
that in decreasing order so we can write like this j is equal to max j is greater than i and j minus minus and here if we print hash character over here see friends we have already discussed this type of logic see right so the hash is forcing star to print after a few positions and now just make that hash a blank space so here if we put a space over here save and run so this is not exact pyramid right so to make it pyramid what we can do we can simply put a space over here just save this program and run boom so it is very simple to make a pattern pyramid so this is a pyramid output right friends now simply switch to our next pattern right so it is a number pattern in a pyramid shape and see again it is nothing but the first pattern that we have already learned right so simply put here percent d and here js value right which is changing in the columns compile and run boom so this is the next output right now go to the next out, uh, next pattern again it is pyramid style output and here what we are printing we are printing values in somewhat uh, different fashion in first row and first column we are printing 5 in the second row we are printing 4 5 that means values are increased in column wise but they are decreasing in row wise see in the first row we have we have printed 5 4 3 2 1 and in column wise if you think then just go to the last row that is in column values are 1 2 3 4 5 now to achieve this output what we can do so here if we make a combination of max value with the current variables actually this type of uh, pattern that uh, we have already learned now just think if we create a combination by using a max value and i and j's value then we can achieve this output so here instead of printing this if we print max okay max minus j see values are changing in column positions so here we should consider value of j so here if we put max minus j just save this program compile it and run see friends we have our output but it is not exact that what we want right so here is uh, one iteration is less here so instead of j or we can simply make j's initial value as 0 and here if we change the value of j 0 just save it and run see now one column is extra and to reduce a column we know simply ignore equal to condition so ignore equal to condition compile and run
right friends so here is our output now the next pattern is on your screen right now and instead of j if we write here i compile it and run it right max minus 1 max minus 2 max minus 3 and we have the achieved output okay friends next pattern is on your screen right now and it is very simple instead of value instead of number we are printing again a character here we shall change the previous situation and here if we print 64 plus i in the pyramid style so this is the next output and instead of i if we put here j see the next output this is the next output just save it compile it run right friends again you can make combinations of j and i and you can make n number of patterns using different different combinations now the next pattern is on your screen right now for this pattern again what we can do this is a decreasing pattern so here we can write a for loop j is equal to max j is greater than i j minus minus and simply again put a column value over here percent d and j that's all save and run so this is the output here we can put a space over here right and uh, if we print the equal to condition then we can have one more iteration in the column right five four three two one right friends again if we print here i value the next pattern is here and now if we print percent c over here and if we write here 64 plus i then we can have the next pattern right now secrets you can have n number of patterns by using combination of i and j you can use other variables as well to create different combinations so friends that's all for this part see you soon in the next part with more patterns friends if you have missed a previous parts i'll recommend you to watch those as well link is provided in the description box and friends if you are new to the channel consider subscribing channel as well and others please like share with your friends that's all friends thank you goodbye